I wanted to know if ChatGPT can create a basic WordPress theme which I can use on my live project. So I asked ChatGPT to write a WordPress theme for me and then I hit enter. And ChatGPT start writing some information for me. It said, I am an AI language model and not able to physically create a WordPress theme for you. But I don't accept that. I would like to have all the files and a theme created by ChatGPT. Let's see what it says. So it's giving me information that I need five basic files, index, CSS files, function.php, header.php and footer.php file to create WordPress theme. And then it gave me instruction, I need to zip all these files and then upload to my WordPress website to install this theme. So now it gave me all the instruction how we can create this theme but I want the theme code. So I asked ChatGPT thanks, please write code for these files you mentioned above. Okay, so ChatGPT started listening to me. You can see it's writing index.php, style.css, functions.php with all the basic functions. Looks real nice, hair.php and then in the end it wrote footer.pc. It wrote the code looks nice but I'm really not sure if this code gonna work on a functional website and if I can create this theme generated by ChatGPT. Now I asked ChatGPT, can you give me all those files in a zip format? And as expected, ChatGPT said no, they cannot do that. And they start giving me how I can do that. So I will skip this part, what I will do. We know how to make a zip file. So what I will do, I will go back to the top where ChatGPT provided the code. And I will copy the code from index.php. And I will go to my notepad and then I will save this file as index.php. And I will do the same with the rest of the files. And this is our last file, footer.php. So now we have all this file in a folder. I'll compress them and add to a zip file. And now we'll go to our website. You can see this is the live website of WordPress I installed recently. What I will do now, I'll go to appearance and I'll go to themes, add new, and then upload this theme we just created. I'm really not sure whether this file is gonna work, but let's see, it's a moment of truth. If this theme created by ChatGPT can work on a live environment and we can use it for a project. Now I select the theme uploaded it and then click on install now okay themes now installed successfully let's click activate and see whether it works or not okay you can see the theme here and then we don't have screenshot because i did not upload screenshot.png now I'll refresh the page so you can see this is a simple page and we have the theme working now on a website so yes it is working but that looks terrible we do not have any design or CSS definition in this theme but i'll not leave it here now let's see the second part of this video that gonna impress you a lot that how we can use this basic theme and still have a fully functioning website with a lot of designs and everything. So let me show you this interesting part. Go on plugins and then click on add new. And then here search for start templates. And we're gonna activate this first plugin. In your case, you will not have this plugin installed. I already have this plugin installed. I'm just gonna activate this plugin. And yes, we are still using the same thing we created with ChatGPT. And now we hover on appearance and click on starter templates. Then I will click on build your website now. And then I'll choose the Elementor page builder. And here you can see a lot of example templates are here. These are templates, they're not the themes. We are still using a the theme created by ChatGPT. Okay, so let's use this example. We all love nature. And then click on skip and continue. And then click on continue. And they will ask us a lot of information. I will uncheck this option to install extra theme because we are still using our old theme. We don't want new theme installed. Then click on submit and build my site. Okay, within a few seconds, you see the work is done and we have our website. If I click on view a website now, you can see this is our new website. And we have this fully functioning working design on our WordPress website. And yes, we are still using the ChatGPT theme. I can show you, I'll go back to my dashboard, go to appearance and I will go to themes. And you can see my simple theme, which is the theme we created with ChatGPT. So now we have this well working website here. And now you see now header is not working well. And the same thing, the footer is not the best, but still we have all these things. The whole purpose behind this is because if we can create a basic theme which is very lightweight and on the top we always gonna use a page builder. We're not gonna create this website by coding or adding HTML. No. Always we're gonna use a page builder like Elementor, Beaver Builder, Divi Builder or any other page builder. So what the purpose of this video is we can create a basic theme which is really lightweight and the only load on the site will be this page builder. So we already cut a lot of bloat on our website just by using the basic theme created by ChatGPT. I'm gonna put a couple of hours and I make this header and footer also working. I can use a plugin to create header and footer with Elementor and then I can make this work too. I hope you enjoyed this ChatGPT tutorial and if you want to see how we create a plugin using ChatGPT, check out this video on screen. And if you want to create a blog website, check this another video on screen. And like always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.